So this is pre-calc uh, topic eight. We are going to find the inst instantaneous rate of change or the derivative uh, of this function for that value. So remember what we're thinking about is the, the slope at that moment. So we want, we want to know the change in y over the change in x. So um, first off, I'm going to think about this is my x value. What would my associated y value be? So if I were to plug 5 into, into j, what would it spit out? And I'm going to do this on my calculator. And what I like to do on my calculator is I like to go uh, let x equals 5. So 5 gets stored in x. So now x is equal to 5. And then I'm just going to type in j. So x cubed uh, minus 8x squared plus 3x plus 19. Plus 19 is negative 41. So now if I think about the slope, like I have some input x and it gives me this, specifically input 5, it gives me negative uh, 41. So if I think about the change in y, the, I, I'm, the change in y is going to be the function minus the specific output at 5 over the input minus the specific input at 5. Um, and notice that I could do is like I plug in 4.9 for x and 4.9 for j of x. Plug in 4.9 here and it would give me a y value. And this would be negative 41. And I could get the slope for when this is really close to 5. But I want to get this as close to 5 as I, as I possibly can. So I'm going to take the limit as x approaches 5 of this thing. So let me write out what I have now. Limit as x approaches 5 of the function. The function is all this x cubed minus 8x squared plus 3x plus 19 minus the output at 5, which is negative 41. And that's over x, that input, so that input gives me output, minus the specific input of 5, which gives me output, change in y over change in x. Now, if I try to plug in 5 right now, I can't evaluate that limit. So let me do a little bit of shenanigans here. Uh, limit, actually, I can just do this. 19 minus negative 41. That would be the same as 19 plus 41. So this, this all together here is equal to a 60. So plus 60. All right. So now, again, if I try to plug in 5, can't do it. So I'm going to do this division. So I'm going to say 5 goes into 1x cubed minus 8x squared, 3x60. Bring down the 1, multiply by 5. Uh, add those together is negative 3, negative 15, negative 12, negative 60, and 0. So what I have left is an x squared minus 3x minus 12. So if I go this thing divided by x minus 5, I get that. So I can just take the limit of that as x approaches 5, of x squared minus 3x minus 12. Because that's equal to this. You know, it, this just patches that hole at 5 when x is 5. So let me plug 5 into that. And what's nice is already, you know, x is 5 on my calculator. So how about I just go uh, x squared minus 3x minus 12, negative 2. So that's how steep this function is when x is 5. At that point, 5, negative 41. It's the instantaneous rate of change, also the derivative.